Thanks to ABB software innovation, Emax2 is the first circuit breaker able to make programmable logic integrated inside the circuit breaker and to make ATS application and function. ATS is automatic transfer switch function able to manage different power source in an electrical plant. What means that? In this case, we have a grid line where we have the first circuit breaker and a second line with the emergency circuit breaker. In case of some fault occurring in the network, the circuit breaker detects the fault and starts to make the opening phase and transfer all information to the second breakers able to detect the status of the generators. As soon as there are verify all the condition, the circuit breaker, the second circuit breaker, start to make the closing of the circuit. As you can see now, all loads are already supplied by the generator line or emergency line. As soon as the circuit breaker of the main line detect the grid is okay, the two trip units for the emergency and the main line share some information in order to detect if the two lines are synchronized. If the synchronization is okay, the breaker starts to make the activity to open the main breakers and after for a certain time, make a sort of parallel situation where the two lines are uh, in uh, synchronization. As soon as the main line is 100% okay, the generator line or the emergency line open the, the circuit and so we can back to the first situation, the first scenario where we can supply all loads from the main grid. Thanks to the Equip Link modules, it's possible to create a direct communication between trip units using a high-speed communication bus called Link and able to exchange all information from one device to another one. In this way, it's possible to make automatic transfer switch or more complex logics. As you can see here, it's enough to have only one cable to make all this type of application without using external cabling, external sensor or additional external unit. That means a very optimized solution for your switchboard. Equip touch trip unit show in the display all the conditions to be verified if there is the synchronism. The first is voltages, the second is a frequency and finally the degree between the two lines. As soon as all the three conditions are verified, you can see the green light to OK to make the synchronization. What happens if one of the conditions doesn't match the requirements? The display shows a red line, red character, to see, wait, please, the synchronization is not admissible. Now, for example, you can see here the voltages are not OK, and as soon as the voltages get the correct threshold, you can see the green light, and so on, the frequencies. As soon as all three parameters, as for example frequencies, voltages and the degrees between the two lines, you have the OK to make the synchronization. <laughs>